Hey, welcome to Mesa RC. I'm Mr. Marshall and I got Kenny, Kenny here. And uh, we've been getting a lot of questions uh, from teachers and um, from regular hobbyists asking about what we thought of the DXC. And now that we've been using the DXC for since, when did Josh come? Like two months ago? Two months now, we kind of really like it. It's kind of been our staple transmitter. And why did we get these? Um, because me, Jaden, and Cody, we made three planes. We called it uh, Triad. Mm -hmm. And that was Fly Test's um, test for us. And we completed their test and they gave us this as a gift. Awesome. Yeah, we've been using it ever since. And what we've been using before has been a combination of DX5s and uh, DX6s. Um, but for us, we're kind of liking this now. So, so we got two controllers. One of the most important things is you're going to need the, the, the connector for your iPhone um, or for your Samsung or whatever uh, phone you have. The first thing you want to do is you want to download the app. And down, download the app is super easy and it shows up like this. And so for us, we can actually, you can actually see all the different models that we've, we've got. We've got the whole triad on there. We've got some uh, quads, we've got Vector, Mustang. These are all kids' projects that we've done so far. Add new model, it's kind of hard to do. Camera. Okay, so now what we can do is we can take a picture of the glider itself. It shows up like that. And then you say, use photo. It's not ready to go. So now we'll go back to basic setup. Hit the back arrow. And then we can go into settings because we're actually in the model. So it shows up at the top of the glider. There's a couple different things we could do, and I like to set it all up before I even link it to the, the actual plan itself. Go into Expo and just look at the different rates. And so in this position, um, position zero and one, they've got 30 and 30, which is, I always like that for the kids. And then for the switch, it's down there as the rate switch. So on our transmitters here, you'll see that under the rate switch, right here, you got your high, and you got your low. Expo is good. So we'll get out of it. And then you go into dual rates. Dual rates, um, this is always nice to use too. I always like to make position zero. Um, full for a glider, so I just click the link button to link both the high and low together, and then I say done. And then at position zero, I'm just going to leave it at 75, that's fine. And that's for LRO. If I slide over, I can go to the elevator, and I can do the same thing pick elevator, go link, and go the whole entire high and low. Keep position one at 75, so that's why I'm going to high. Rudder, we're not using a rudder, we're just using the aileron and the aileron uh, piece. There's model setup. So under model setup, you can go, you can have assign a button to be throttle cut, which is kind of cool for the kids. And then for safety, and then you've also got uh, flight mode setup. You got your trainer settings, we'll get into a second. And then you got channel setup where you can do reverse. Um, and for us, we can even go like aileron, and we can do um, for this, we can say we want full control, we want full max throws of our ailerons, and for our elevators, we want to make it up full on that as well. Go back. Under wing type, for here, we just keep it as normal, and keep it as tail. So now we're going to get Kenny to kind of bind it all, and hopefully we get it all. We're just going to keep it like this, keep it the same, and then what Kenny's going to do is going to take the master. And turning it on, turn it on first. We're gonna go ahead and plug it into the phone. So when you plug it in, make sure your volume's at high, like on the max, or on the max. So you'll see that it's reading. And for us, we've already got it set up on the phone, right? So where would we have to put the phone to the transmitter or the transmitter to the phone? Um, but for this, we're just going to go phone to transmitter. It's not, it does that. This is normal for Spectrum. Spectrum, fix it. I hate that. Click again. Okay. Make sure you're in the same model. Go back in. It'll read it again. Reading, 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 reading. Click the phone. And now it's working. So now we're transferring the information that we set up on that model to the actual TX. All right, so now it says transmitter connected and we're all set. So now we've got all the information that we needed from 
uh, that model is now on the DXE. So we're actually ready to actually go in and bind it to um, this receiver and, and, and see what we get. We've got our bind plug into our controller and what we're doing is we've got the rudder going into the aileron and we've got our elevator going into elevator. Our throttle going into throttle. So I'm just going to disconnect it, turn it off. And to bind it, what Kane's going to do is he's going to hold the bind button and then turn it on. You'll see that it'll blink and if he lets go, this is going to go like bam, bam which means you didn't get any connection. So, here you go, Kenny. You can have that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to power on the, the, the RX. You can get a blinking light there. Go ahead and hold it until it... There you go. It already binded to it. So it made the connection. That light should stop and it should just give us a solid red. Awesome. Now we're good to go. So let's go ahead and move our control sticks and see what we got. Okay, and then the elevator. Excellent. So if you go right, does that give us right? Awesome. And then left. Perfect. And then do that again. That's left. And then right. And then go up. Down. Cool. We didn't have to do anything different to our, our model. It was already perfect. So for him, what he would do is that he would just he would take out the vine. And now we're ready to go and chuck this thing and see how we do with it. <laughs> do it. What we're going to do with this glider is we're going to put on an FPV system we're going to have the kids fly. So I want to have complete control just in case they screw up. So what we want to do now is we'll just unplug it. Okay, we'll unplug the transmitter. All right, now what I'm going to do, back into Spectrum, okay, and I want to go to um, Settings. And under Settings, I go to Model, and I go to Trainer Settings. Okay, so it'll say trainer down here. I like to go to pilot link master. I want to make my controller the master, and every setting that I do on this controller here will convert over to his controller. If I do programmable master, that means that I better have my settings uh, already done. So if I go up in the air and notice the plane needs trimming, I trim it out on mine, but it's not going to do the same thing for, for Kenny, and that's not what we want. So we want pilot link master. Okay, and then from there we'll say done. So it's a pilot link master, and now we'll do the exact same thing again. Turning on the controller. Come in here. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll plug it in. See, there we go. Reading transmitter. Now because we made a change on this, on the phone, we now need to click the same one. So while I was doing that, when I have got done flying with Kenny and we've got all the trims made, then I'll come back and I'll upload from the transmitter to the phone on that same model so that we'll always have those same settings um, saved. So anytime we come back to this plane, we won't have to do that whole process over again. Now check this out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the same glider, same one, I'm going to go to model, trainer settings, and under where it says trainer, I'm going to go pick it and go pilot link save or slave. And so when I click that, now his transmitter, and I'll unplug it. Because I want to make his transmitter the slave. So then I come in and we do the same thing going from the transmitter or from the phone to the transmitter, just like this and get his controller linked up as a slave. So we just got done making his transmitter a slave. Mine's still the master, they're both still off. And we want to bind this one to that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is for me, I'm gonna hold down this button right here where it says wireless uh, trainer bind. I'm gonna click it, turn it on, and it's gonna do this weird kind of uh, kind of like on and off type lighting to kind of tell you that, hey, you are in a potential bind with something else. Now for you, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna click bind. So, so hold down, turn on, let go. Oh! So he just bound from this controller to this controller. So um, now that you're bound to my controller, let's test it out and see if it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my transmitter on, turn your transmitter on, okay? 
plug in our unit. I've got full range. Okay, now, if I wanna give him control, all I do is I press the um, bind, panic, and trainer button. And now you go ahead and try to control it. See? Isn't that cool? So now, we're wireless, which is always super helpful. And um, if I make any changes to my bomb in the air, it automatically transfers over to him so that he's not struggling when I give him control. Cool? Yeah. All right, you ready to go take, take this thing out and try it out? Let's do it. Okay. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you guys out with the DXC. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve with the phone and the app, but once you kind of get over that hump, it's super easy. It's very convenient, and uh, we've been loving it as an educational tool for the, for the kids and, and getting their planes up in the air uh, with a lot of success. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you guys have any other questions for us and tips or in the future, let us know in the comments below, and uh, we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Wait, you guys, you, I, how was it? It's pretty lit.